for your health now. The sunny days are ahead of us here in the valley with more days out in the sun. That means more exposure to the rays for our skin. Dr. Charles Savet with Valley Ear, Nose and Throat and Dermatology Specialist joins us. Welcome, doctor. Thank you, Nicole. Great to be here. Yeah, great to have you. So last year uh, we have a photo of it. We published an article called Removing Brown Spots from All Complexions. Is this a problem that you see with most of your patients? This is probably the most common question that we get asked. The most common phone call is about the, the darker spots that people find in their complexion. So is that a, a problem that should concern people if they do notice new spots? It, it certainly should. It, it helps to have a, just a doctor look at things just to make sure you're not dealing with a skin cancer. So what are some things that would cause dark spots on your skin? There are, there are a number of issues, um, certainly inflammation from any source, hormonal changes, which can be caused by anything from pregnancy to di different medications, and of course, sun exposure is going right. to be your number one cause. So how much sun is too much sun without sunscreen? Because sometimes people might go outside for 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, when should you really put it on? Wow, that, that's a really difficult question to answer. And part of the reason is because we all have a different complexion, and so that's going to give us a, a, a different protection from the sun. The time of the day matters quite a bit. Um, certainly going out in the sun for 30 minutes without sunblock, you're not going to wake up the next day with skin cancer. Right. But I encourage my patients to educate themselves, just be aware, and take good care of yourself. Well, speaking of skin cancer, who's the most at risk or susceptible to getting it? People with lighter complexions are going to be more susceptible. But a common misconception is that if you have darker skin, you don't have a risk for skin cancer. And that's just not true. Even in darker skinned individuals, the skin cancer risk can be as high as 5%. And that's 1 in 20. So that's, that's pretty significant. So would you say you're seeing more people out here in the valley getting skin cancer? Or do you see more Hispanics than you used to see? That's that's pretty difficult for me to answer. Um, I, I don't think that I don't think there's a, a real significant change, but certainly nationwide skin cancer rates are up or higher than they were 20 years ago. Well, whenever we're looking for sunscreen, what are some specific things that we need to look at? SPF is a big one, so we should should we be paying attention to you know how much SPF is in the sunscreen? Certainly, SPF is is important. Um, an SPF of 15. Uh, allows about 6% of the sunlight to come through. When you get up to 30, you only have about 3% coming through. And then at 85, you have still a little over 1% coming through. The other important thing to look at is your UVB protection versus your UVA protection. UVB causes sunburn, but both UVA and UVB can lead to skin cancer and aging of the skin. Uh, so just pay attention on the label that, that you're getting something that protects both UVB and UVA. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, Nicole.